our time in our service where we'll uh, offer up our praises, prayer concerns, or any other things that you might have to say. So if you have anything like that, you can just raise your hand and I will come to you. Sighting, I see this great big unit sitting on the north side of the church. And hopefully this next week it'll be plugged in and we'll have our air. And I think we owe the trustees and the board a huge thank you for all the man hours that they have put in getting this organized so that we can set it covered. Anybody else? Got any extra time in your prayers uh, for the next few weeks? I just want to make you all uh, aware that there are two uh, small groups. One is called Six Over Sixty. There are six gentlemen who are ex-military who are uh, going by bicycle across the United States. They started in, uh, I believe it was Oregon, and uh, they crossed the Snake River and. If you look for 6 over 60 on Facebook, you'll find them. And uh, the other group is two Marines that just got out of the Marine Corps in Camp Pendleton in California, uh, outside of San Diego, and they're walking. And um, they're in uh, Arizona now, and uh, it's been very, very hot. And uh, like truckers and people have been stopping in, you know, Closing them down, and you know, uh, they've had some close up pictures of their shoes and stuff. And those guys are really going through a lot, but uh, they're both groups are doing it to uh, pay homage to the wounded warriors who have come back not whole. So, uh, you might want to keep those uh, eight gentlemen from the two different groups in your prayers. Anybody else? <coughs> I, I have a God saying. So a week ago, I a couple weeks ago, there was an article in the newspaper about Nanny's Bargains downtown that was going to be going out of business. It was a thrift store basically for children's clothing and accessories and this, that, and the other. And when I read that article, I thought, I need to go talk to her, see what she's going to do with all her leftovers. Well, I never did. Didn't happen. So last Saturday, I had ordered some stuff from Probasco's, and I thought, man, I'm going to go to Probasco's. i got to pick this up now. And we pulled up, it's like, oh, i got to go to Nanny's Markets. And it's like right south of Probasco's. So I went in there, told her who I was, told her what I did with the clothing giveaway, told her what church I was affiliated with, and left her my name and number. And I said, when are you closing? She goes, today at 4. And I went, oh, OK. Went home, did my thing, really did not think I'd hear from her. She called Sunday morning at 10.30 and talked to my daughter and said, have your mom call me. I called her. She goes, Tammy, do you still want this stuff? And I said, well, yeah, I want it. She goes, well, you might want to come take a look first. I said, well, give me 30 and I'll be down there. I walked in and I had a heart attack. There was 30. 50 plus gallon sized trash bags full. And I said, when do we have to get it up by? A now. <laughs> now? Okay, Lord, I can do this. So we clean up, we start loading the Jeep. He calls us, Matt calls Denny and Sharon. They come in with the truck. And about that time, my angels show up, which was Max and Marsha Peters. They literally pulled in and parked right behind us. And she gets out, she goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm so glad to see you. Thank you for showing up. Open your hatch. And she goes, huh? I said, come here, let me show you. She goes in, she goes, what are you doing? And I said, we're going to fill your vehicle. Well, in a long story short, we made many trips, filled my garage, and then I bought all of her racks and everything else in her building for 50 bucks. So we basically got her whole store for 50 dollars. So we will have an abundance of infant, Claret to size 14, 16 in children's clothes 
for next year's clothing giveaway. And I'm through about half of the bags, and I haven't had to throw anything away. So that tells you the quality that she had in her store. Um, the other cool God sighting was is that we all were able to pray with her and her mom before we left because she was in tears as we were hauling stuff out because this was her dream. She was a single mom of three kids trying to make this store work. So um, her name is Amy. If you guys could just keep her in your prayers as she goes through this transition and waiting for God's next call. Thank you. Some of us are struggling with relationships, others with finances, and others with difficult decisions. 
while others have health issues that never seem to let up. In Almighty One, there are so many problems and categories of problems or heartaches that we don't declare to list them all. But for these things, Lord, we have you. You are our ultimate resource. <clears throat> we pray that you would have a perfect will on each situation. Now, as we sing your praises and enjoy your sweet honey of your word, we pray your continued blessing upon us. We lift up Pastor Michael as he preaches your word today. May the words come through the power and authority of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, we now lift up to those who are heavy on our hearts. And at the end, together we will say, Lord, hear our prayers. For Miranda, she is on her leave of mission trip in Jackson, Missouri. Amen.
Wow. Beautiful. Our scripture today is from Galatians chapter 5, verses 1 and 13 through 25. Our timeless word this morning continues from the letter to Galatians, appropriate to our celebration this weekend. The Apostle Paul writes, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other. So prevent you from doing what you want. To prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmities, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. May the hearing of God's Word help to be us better recognize and follow the leading of the Spirit now and through the week. 